ambasciatore Vachista di Coff della Repubblica dell'Azerbaijan qui in Italia, siamo al termine di questi cinque anni di suo mandato e le chiediamo un resoconto, un, un bilancio di quella che è stata questa lunga attività e questo percorso che ha visto in Italia la, la Repubblica dell'Azerbaijan affermarsi come paese veramente eh, diciamo, forte, pieno di energie e di, di proposte nuove. Ok, uh, first of all, thank you very much, uh, signor Vescuto, for, for this interest and I would like to uh, congratulate all of your readers and viewers on the, on the Christmas and on the forthcoming new, new year and to wish all the best to, to you, to your uh, large audience and to their families. Uh, I am, as you know, already leaving my five-year period of work as of the Ambassador of Azerbaijan to Italy. And today uh, there is a good opportunity to uh, recall and to refresh on, uh, on what we have done during this period in Italy. Uh, I would like to say that uh, Italy has a special place uh, in Azerbaijan in our history and in, and in our present day and also in the future of our relations uh, with Europe. Uh, we are united with uh, Italy for many reasons, first of all historical, I would like to mention here the voyages of Marco Polo, the visits of the Roman legionnaires to Azerbaijan, and uh, that established a very strong foundation, historic foundation for our uh, relations. And that is why you know, we were very pleased that uh, Italy was one of the first countries which uh, recognized the <coughs> new independence of Azerbaijan in 1992. Uh, during these years, I would like to stress that mm, our relations with Italy, they are based on a very strong foundation of bilateral legal documents that were signed uh, since 1992 uh, up, to, uh, up to today. And uh, that gave us uh, a lot of opportunities to develop our relations with your uh, country. I would like to also to stress that from the point of view of psychology and mentality, the two peoples uh, have a lot of common features. Italians are very industrious, a very hard-working uh, nation, and I saw it during my numerous uh, visits to almost all of the Italian regions. Each of the regions has its own specifics, but there is also something unique which establishes a common Italian nation, uh, hard work, uh, love for art, uh, ide uh, ideas in the field of design, creativity. This is something that makes Italy and Italians uh, very popular uh, all around the world, including also in, uh, in Azerbaijan. Uh, Italians uh, like a lot of sun, a, l a lot of sea, a l uh, go good uh, cuisine, and this is something which, uh, which is also uh, very, very important. Uh, during these uh, five years, I was very much uh, surprised, in the good sense, uh, with this level of creativity that I saw everywhere in Italy, from Trento to, <coughs> to uh, Catania. And this is uh, something which is very important today, uh, because we develop our relations and you need a lot of creativity, you need a lot of good spirit to develop these uh, relations. Uh, the most important uh, legal basis for our relations with Italy is the so-called uh, Joint Declaration on Strategic Partnership, which was adopted last year during the visit of our President Ilham Aliyev to, uh, to Italy on an official visit during his meeting with uh, Prime Minister uh, Matteo Renzi. Italy is very much uh, important for us in many aspects. First of all, it is our biggest uh, trade partner around the world. As you know, you know for seven years, uh, uh, Italy is the biggest trade partner of Azerbaijan. Almost 25-26% of our foreign trade I is uh, w with Italy. Uh, with Italy, we also uh, have a lot of uh, joint ventures, a lot of Italian companies work uh, in Azerbaijan. And uh, we also uh, attach a lot of respect and interest to all the reforms that the Italian government uh, under the Prime Minister of Matteo Renzi is doing. And we are very much interested in the success of these reforms because the better is economic situation in Italy, the better it is for our 
bilateral uh, relations. We work closely with the government uh, of Italy, with individual ministries. Uh, during these years, we organized a number of uh, uh, events and visits. Uh, for example, I can mention the visit of <coughs> Minister uh, Padovan to Azerbaijan, the visit of Minister Guidi uh, to Azerbaijan, uh, and other, and other uh, visits. We have a lot of such uh, visits also in future, in, in 2016, which will make strong our uh, basis for economic development. Uh, I am very uh, glad to say that today Azerbaijan is uh, the first supplier of oil uh, to, to Italy and uh, in future, very soon, in two or three years, uh, we will become an important supplier also of gas uh, to, uh, to Italy. We are very glad that the project of the Trans-Adriatic uh, uh, Pipeline, uh, which was init initiated by Azerbaijan and uh, its partners, international partners, now uh, there are also a lot of Italian companies who joined uh, this project. For example, uh, recently, as you know, a famous Italian company, SNAM, uh, jo joined the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline project, and there are also a number of other Italian companies. Uh, this all gives not only uh, new jobs uh, to Italian people, but also increases the uh, business <coughs> uh, pro uh, opportunities for Italian, uh, for Italian uh, companies. Uh, during these uh, five years, uh, together with the support of our numerous Italian friends like you and like other people, uh, we managed to do uh, a lot in the uh, making two countries closer through numerous presentations, and numerous interviews, numerous cultural events, uh, events in the field of education. Uh, here I would like to mention some of them. Uh, three years ago, we organized a big uh, exhibition of the modern art uh, of Azerbaijani uh, artists in the, in the <coughs> Maxi Museum of, um, of Rome. The event was called uh, Fly to Baku. Uh, this year and last year, Azerbaijan uh, participated in the Biennale Venezia with the individual pavilions. So this year we had already three pavilions and there were a lot of people who uh, visited this pavilion. Of course, uh, an important uh, global event was uh, the Milano Expo du Nili Quindici. And taking this opportunity, I would like to congratulate Italy, Italians and the government of Italy with a big success uh, of this uh, world global event. Azerbaijan was represented by its uh, pavilion and I'm glad to say that during the six months period more than three million uh, visitors uh, visited our uh, pavilion which gave us a good opportunity to present our achievements in the field of environment, in the field of uh, food security and also to develop uh, new, uh, new relations uh, with Italy and other countries. Mm. I would like also to mention uh, specifically the field of culture. During these years we were able to organize numerous events, cultural events in Italy and to present uh, arts and culture of Azerbaijan to our Italian friends. Here I would like to mention the 2012 when we organized the first official days of Azerbaijani culture. Uh, which took place in many uh, cities of Italy, in Milano, Firenze, uh, Venezia, uh, Ro Rome. Uh, these were important, uh, Torino, uh, these were important uh, concerts and culture e events. I would also like to specifically mention the support uh, which we had uh, from Comune di Roma. Uh, during these years we worked uh, very closely with Sindaco Alemano and with Sindaco uh, Marino and uh, were able to organize many cultural events in Rome. Particularly I would like to uh, say thank you to Comune di Roma for the possibility to establish the monument to a famous Azerbaijani poet and philosopher of the, uh, of the <coughs> uh, 14th century, Nizami Ganjevi. As you know, this monument was, established, uh, was inaugurated uh, uh, in April of 2012 in uh, Villa, Villa Borghese. 
and we wait now for the community Roma to do something the same in Baku and we are waiting for the proposal uh, from Italian side. Uh, the great patrimony of Italy, it is not only Italian um, uh, property, but it's the property of the whole world. And that is why we were honored and glad when we uh, were able, as Azerbaijan, we uh, were able to participate in the several restoration projects in Italy. Uh, I can uh, say, for example, the restoration works in the uh, Museo Campidoglio, uh, then in the uh, San Marcellino and San Pietro uh, catacombs in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in Rome, uh, which were done with the support of financial support of Azerbaijan, and also we are doing now the restoration works in Via Alessandrina in, in Roma. Uh, these are all important events and by contributing to these projects we support the Italian uh, heritage uh, which is very important not only for Italy, for Azerbaijan and uh, for, for the whole uh, world. I can also, uh, I can also mention uh, a number of projects in the field of education which we did together with the Ministry of Education of Italy. So these are the major uh, tracks which were we were developing during these uh, five years and I'm glad that we could do a lot but still uh, there is a lot of work uh, which remains for future. Durante questo suo mandato lei ha visitato un po' tutte le città diciamo d'Italia, da, da Catania a Venezia, a Milano, insomma, ecco un po' le relazioni, quelle che sono state le città che le hanno più impressionato o comunque quelle che lei ha ritenuto le città più significative anche dal punto di vista dell'interesse mostrato verso eh, le, le politiche e sia economiche che culturali della Repubblica dell'Azerbaijan. Well, uh, Italy is a big country with a lot of population, with a big territory and uh, we are glad that we work with many regions of, uh, of Italy. That is why we uh, thought that it is necessary also to establish our representations in different parts of Italy. As you know, we have uh, a consulato honorario in Genova, which covers uh, Piemonte, Liguria, uh, Lombardia and Val d'Aosta. Uh, but we think that uh, there is a need to develop other uh, places and that is why I am uh, glad uh, to say that uh, just at the beginning of December we inaugurated another uh, consulato honorario uh, in uh, Catania which covers uh, Sicily and Piemonte. And I would like to say that we will uh, continue it because uh, there are several uh, very important regions of Italy where we would like to establish our uh, missions in the form of uh, consulato uh, honorario. We work very closely with all of these regions in the north, in the, in the south, in the journal of, of uh, Italy and I think that these relations would continue and would develop. It is very important to work not only on the level of the federal government, which is of course important and uh, this is what we are doing, but it is also equally important to work with the regions of Italy, because uh, the majority of the creative potential of Italy is in the regions. People, uh, business, business communities, cul uh, cultural sphere. So that is why we will continue this work to do in future as well. Un'ultima domanda che le faccio è sul futuro dell'Azerbaijan dell e dei rapporti dell Ita tra Italia e Azerbaijan. Uh, I am very optimistic about the future of uh, our relations. First of all, Italy itself it is a global uh, power, it's a global country and that is why it is very important for a small country uh, like Azerbaijan to develop our relations with Italy. Uh, we have a very strong foundation, we have a lot of areas where we can cooperate. Uh, Italy's economy is developing, Azerbaijan's economy is developing, so that is why every year there will be new uh, uh, upper opportunities. It is also important uh, for Azerbaijan to develop our relations with Italy because Italy is an, one of the leading uh, members of the European Union. Relations with Europe, relations with the European Union is of a strategic importance for Azerbaijan. So that is why we are uh, grateful to our Italian partners 
uh, that they uh, support us in the European Union and also they support us in the field of the European Parliament. Uh, parliamentary re relations are also very important and I'm glad that we established very strong relations with the Italian Parliament, both with the Senate and the, with the Camera dei Deputati. Uh, I can tell you that the italian Azerbaijani uh, parliamentary friendship group is one of the biggest in Italian Parliament. There are more than 60 people there and they represent all political spectrum of Italy. All the political parties are represented there. Uh, so that is why uh, the future of our relations is, uh, has very strong uh, foundation. Uh, we are very uh, glad that uh, political relations between Italy and Azerbaijan are on the top level. We don't have any open issues, we don't have any pending questions, we don't have any problems in the political field. Uh, we have similar positions uh, between Italy and Azerbaijan on many international aspects of, of foreign policy and that is why it gives us a good opportunity to develop our business relations, commercial relations, relations in the humanitarian field, in the field of culture, uh, education and science. So that is why I'm uh, very optimistic about uh, our relations and I think that there is a very strong potential both in Italy and in Azerbaijan to develop these relations uh, in future. A very important element is uh, that uh, there are uh, strong uh, personal relations between President Ilham Aliyev and Pri Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. Both of them are relatively young people, very dynamic, very energetic. We look at the efforts of the Italian government and we are very uh, satisfied with all this because, as I already said, we are very much interested in the further development of Italy because that will also help to develop our bilateral relations as well. Facciamo i migliori auguri per il suo nuovo incarico e le lasciamo un saluto dall'Italia e in bocca al lupo per tutto. Well, first of all, in, in, can, can I speak then in, in, in English? Well, first of all, in Italy I live uh, part of my uh, heart. Uh, this is very important because these uh, five years were very important for me professionally. They were very important for me as a human being because I learned this country uh, very well, much better. Uh, I was honored to establish uh, friendly relations uh, with uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, Italians like, like you. Uh, these years uh, were also very important for my family. I lived with my wife, with my daughter and well, with my mother here. They also traveled a lot in Italy and uh, that is why we, as I said, we live uh, part of our heart. Of course, it's, uh, uh, I'm sorry to, li to, li to leave Italy, but I'm glad that uh, what we did uh, a small con uh, contribution to the development of our relations. I think that it was a good uh, step. Of course, ambassadors cannot do everything. I have to leave something also for my uh, su uh, successor to continue. And, uh, but again, I say I, I am very honored uh, to represent my country in such a uh, beautiful country like I Italy. And I'm very glad that I could a little bit contribute to relations between our nations. Yeah, uh, th thank you so much and taking this opportunity would like again to congratulate you, uh, you personally, your, your staff and all our Italian friends with the forthcoming uh, new, new year and, uh, and, uh, and uh <coughs> hope this year to be more better and to be more prosperous for Italy and Italians.